And if someone can break into the LLC, now all your properties are potentially exposed. I like to do mine based on the state of location and the amount of equity I'm exposing to liability. If you have properties in several states, do you recommend putting each property into its own LLC or one LLC to cover them all? Is there a state that you recommend that is friendlier or more effective for real estate holdings for an LLC yeah. creation? So that's several questions in one, but let's, let's cover it. <laughs> <That's> um, <right. laughs> yeah, I, I think there's several, several considerations there. Oftentimes I will tell people to put, if you buy property in, in whatever state, say North Carolina, use a North Carolina LLC. If you're in Virginia, use a Virginia LLC. You don't have to do it that way. Um, and there are states that are friendlier to the business owners in other states, states like Nevada, Wyoming, Delaware. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily necessary to go to one of those states. Um, in terms of more than one LLC, a lot of my former clients would decide how many LLCs based on the equity exposed in any one LLC. So let's say you had 10 houses and your equity was only $100,000 because you had 10,000 in each house, maybe you don't care if $100,000 chunk is exposed in one LX LLC to potential liability. But let's say those 10 houses each had $100,000 of equity. Now you've got a million dollars exposed in one LLC. And if someone can break into the LLC, now all your properties are potentially exposed. So I, I like to do mine based on the state of location and the amount of equity I'm exposing to liability. So, you know, that's a real personal decision what you do because the more LLCs, the more fees you have every year, the more tedious it is to maintain, the more books and records you have. And, and so it's a balancing act and everybody will fall differently in that, that continuum of fewer LLCs, fewer tediousness, less protection to the far end of the uh, spectrum of more LLCs, more fees, more tediousness, more protection. Where you fall on that continuum is a very personal choice. And then what states do you think are, are better for LLC? Yeah. Well, bet, yeah, better, better, is a, better is a different, you know, better is one word. Is it better? It really depends on your situation. Than what? <laughs> this, yeah. The states that tout themselves as very um, owner friendly, you know, the people who own the LLCs uh, are usually Delaware, Nevada, Wyoming, um, Tennessee, maybe New Mexico. I'm trying to remember, you know, I haven't looked at it in a while because I haven't practiced law in a while, but those are theoretically better for, for the owner in terms of the protections for the owner that they tout themselves as better. But again, look, you have to look at each personal situation and look at the laws in that state and say, do I really need that one extra little provision that maybe Delaware gives me? Most cases, no. Um, some states will offer a series LLC and people like those where you have one master LLC and you open up all these little baby LLCs under it, but it all flows up into one tax return and things like that. But you can do almost the equivalent of a series LLC in states that don't have that, but you're just going to pay a few more fees. So you just have to look at the law and, and meet with a trusted advisor that can look at your individual situation and help you weigh the pros and cons of, of going to these different states. And, and I'll say one more thing. Some of these companies that promote, uh, hey, come to, I'm just picking a state, come to Nevada and we'll set up all these LLCs for you and we'll charge you $25,000, but you'll have the best thing since sliced bread. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think a lot of that's a ripoff. Right. So I All would right. go to an advisor in your state, talk to them about what your state laws, you know, provide for you and whether it's necessary to go do other states or not. That's a great point. That's a great point. Yeah.